What's up everybody, Chris from Full Steam Designs. I just wanted to take a minute today to show you some of the 3D abilities that Carveco Maker has. We're going to be talking about three different things, STLs, 3D photographs, and their free 3D relief gallery. Now, if you're interested in checking out Carveco Maker, I'm going to put a discount code as well as an affiliate link down in the description. Uh, if you wanna check that out, it'll save you guys a little bit of money as well as help the channel out a little bit. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is STLs. And Thingiverse is a great place to get free STLs from. There's a lot of different sites out there that have them, but there's a ton of cool models on here. And I found a ghost mask from Modern Warfare that was made by Art Mediocre. And all you do is download these files, open up Carveco Maker, and you're gonna come up here to Relief, Import, Import 3D Model, find your model and double click on it. And when it comes in, uh, it's gonna be probably not to scale. So we're gonna have to mess with that. We're gonna have to mess with its location too. Let's start by scaling that down a little bit. We'll go to, uh, let's go to 20. Click apply. And if I click center, it'll bring the model down to our surface. What I need to do now is rotate this backwards and we can rotate about the X, Y, and Z axis. Uh, it's looking like I need to rotate about the X axis here. So let's bring it back 90 degrees. Click apply. Clicking center again will bring it down to the surface. And we can probably play with that a little bit more. Let's come back like 15 degrees. And what I'd like to do is lower this down so that this part of the model is actually touching the surface. So let's call them like negative one in the Z direction. You'll notice it started to come through our surface. Come down a little bit more, try negative three. And yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that. So I want you to pay attention to these areas here, these hollowed out areas. Uh, that's not something that we can do with a three axis CNC machine. So when we click paste, it's going to generate these walls here that basically come straight down from the outside of any of these overhanging areas. So just keep that in mind that that's going to happen when you import an STL. The next thing I want to talk about is 3D photographs. So again, we'll come up to Relief, Import. We'll just click this Import button and we'll find the photograph that we want. Double click it. And it's come in really big for me, so let me scale it down. And if I hit F9, it'll center it right in the middle of my work area here. Looking at it from the front, it looks pretty good. But as I start to rotate to the side, you'll notice that it's really carving deep in some areas here. I can grab this arrow and adjust the height. So I like to bring that back pretty low, make it pretty flat. And we can click paste. Now there's not a ton of tools that we get with Carveco Maker you would need either Maker Plus or the full version of Carveco to really be able to modify stuff. But we do get a few. We can smooth the image and you just get this slider that you can adjust. We can also scale it once again. And make those changes, do all sorts of crazy stuff to it or we can invert it. So maybe you like the looks of this a little bit more. And finally, I wanna talk about the free 3D relief models that come with the software. We'll just click on this button here and that'll open the library. They have a ton of different images and just find one that you like. I kinda of like this eagle. So if we click and drag, it'll bring it on to our workspace click one of these corners to make it a little bit bigger. If we look at it from the side, again, we can scale that Z height. 
Once we're satisfied, we can just click paste. So stuff like this is really helpful for beginners. If you've never machined anything in 3D, uh, this is a good opportunity to have some really cool models to play around with. But once you get more experienced with it, you can combine these different reliefs together. Like I said, there's just a ton of free ones that come with the program, and they're all pretty cool. That's it for today. Thanks for checking the video out. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I always try to answer all your questions. If you haven't already done so, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. I've got a ton of great content coming, and I will see you guys over on this next video.